What's up guys, so now we're gonna do readability, which is a problem on week 2 arrays. Readability is relatively straightforward to understand, so we'll be given an input, that will be a sentence, and depending on the amount of letters, uh, letters and sentences, we're gonna calculate a certain index using this formula, this formula is called coleman leo index and you you basically using the coleman leo index you are able to find out which grade level a certain person is so for example uh here you have this sentence and then using that formula you have grade three so how to solve this problem if you haven't seen my solution for mario I, or credit i really recommend here on the channel and I have a certain philosophy. My philosophy is that your main function should be readable, even for someone who doesn't know what coding is about. So if you just look at my main function, you understand that I'll get some sort of string, in this case, the text. I'll call a function got, uh, get num of letters, get num of sentence, and get num of words. One of, one of the biggest mistakes I have from my students is that they will put everything in their main. So their main function and their program in general looks very confusing. So your main should look really modular with many functions. That way, when you have a bug, it's really easy to figure out what's wrong. So only by looking at main, you know what the algorithm is about. We know that we need to get a text get the letter sentences and words, use that as an input to some sort of calculation that will give us the grade level, and then we print the grade level. So try, if you are having trouble with this problem, what I recommend is restructure your code like this, give it a try again, and then go back to this solution to see how to implement. Don't forget you need to put the function definitions here at the top, so let's see, for example, how we would get the num of letters. So for getting the num of letters is straightforward. All we have to do is to loop through the text. There is this function called is alpha. How did, did I know about it? There is this page called manual CS50. So it has, uh, it's very useful. It's from the CS50 course. And here you can see all the functions that you can use. Uh, in your problems. So there is this one called is alpha. Is alpha under the C type library, which is really useful to telling you if you have a alphabetical letter. And that's how we are counting him. So we're using is alpha. Don't forget to include the C type dot H. And that way we are able to figure out the number of letters. So then we just return the number of letters and we're good to go okay so that was easy then we get the number of sentences also from the same text so let's go to get num of sentences wait is it get number of sentences yes get number of sentences so according to the problem statement a sentence ends in a period an exclamation point or a question mark Remember, we can know the size of the whole sentence using this function asterlane, which he talks about in the lecture. So every time we see one of those characters, we know it is a new sentence. So increment the sentence and we return one. Finally, the number of words. So if we get the number of words, all we have to do is loop also using the asterlane. And according to the text, every time we have a space, that's a new word. We are using the uh, index because every string is nothing. As you can see a string as an array of characters. So the ith character will be, we can loop through the entire uh, string as if it was an array and grab each letter using array indexing. Why do we have plus one? Because uh, let's say we have two words with one space in between. 